everyone! Scoops here. Um, we have a brand new series. This is... The Desolate Hope by Scott Cawthon. Um, his game actually came out, I think, two years ago. <laughs> at least on, like, a beta. Uh, it's a really cool game. It just came out on Steam yesterday for about $10. Uh, just the craziest art style. And, uh, let me show you. Uh, new... Sorry if the, the sound and stuff like that doesn't quite sound right. There's no real options, as far as I can tell. Alright, uh, you'll never see this message, little, little one. No one will ever know what took place here. No one will remember us. The message will roam the stars long after we are gone. Maybe you're out there somewhere. I would like to think so. What makes us... Uh, ah, I didn't finish it. What? No, I'm certainly not talking about you. Stop intercepting transmissions. That's not your job. What is my job? You've been atta you've been activated to help me with my daily tasks. I don't like asking for help, especially from such a simple software, but circumstances leave me no choice. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Let's start with that. No, you are no longer the processor of a block puzzler in space. You have been reassigned. Where is Ted who plays the games? <laughs> I don't know any Ted, and neither do you. You came pre-installed in the station computer. You haven't been active for all the years that we've been here. This is an un none that this is an unmanned station and there's no need for games. As I said, you were pre-installed. What is our new location? Our new location doesn't matter. Only our mission matters. I hate going through this each time. I understand. Can we play a game later? What is our new mission? Your mission is to do what I tell you to do. There are five four robots on the station called derelicts. They were designed to be in operation for five years. We've been here a bit longer than expected, however, and they are unable, unable to move throughout the station anymore, although that was never their primary function. They are performing crucial simulations. It is your goal to aid me in, in removing an irritating virus which has appeared, appeared recently. I do not seem to have full access to the programs, at least not through the network. <laughs> Sorry for the voices. Well, that leads me to the second part of your mission, and this is the embarrassing part. I need to dedicate my CPU to helping with the tasks of the station. My CPU is more advanced than yours, that's an understatement, which is why my CPU is needed to help with the simulations and other tasks. Uh, we will upload your program to my system, and you will move me around the station. You will then interface with the derelicts directly to gain full access. Once inside their systems, you will seek out and eliminate the viral elements. Simple enough. Understood. When do we begin? Now I'm going to dedicate my CPU to help with the station functions. One more thing, don't kill the spider. That's Siegfried. I found him in a coffee cup. Remember, you are not me. You are just boring this body. I honestly get sick of tying it to you. Then go to the derelicts and try out your new legs. Yeah, this game just has the craziest art style. It's sort of a... I haven't really played it a whole lot. Don't freak out, you're in the central room. Control room of the Lun Infinius station. Uh, no, I'm not a ghost. Remember that my uh, remember that body is not yours. It's mine. You're just borrowing it while I take care of more important matters. Now, a few things to go over with you. Even though we don't have a true day and night cycle, uh, we go through day and night cycles. <clears throat> During the day, you'll be permitted to enter the derelict simulations. You can even see in the top right, it's day one, sunny. Where you'll seek out and destroy the virus. Uh, during the night, you'll be permitted to leave the station itself. You can leave the station to your left, but only at night. At night, I'd recommend finding tokens of affection to give to the derelicts, but we'll get into that later. Go explore for now. So I am a coffee maker. Um, let's go to the right. Hello there. I am busy rhyming simulations you could not possibly understand. Do not disturb me. That was rude of you. Nexus point. This is an access point to the simulation. You do not have permission to enter. Okay. This room is, uh... Not the one for me, I guess. Oops. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't got beyond this hallway before. Each room has one derelict in it, and as I said before, they are unable to leave their rooms. Their primary focus is now their simulations. Your main task should be to earn their trust. The more they trust you, the more system resources they will dedicate to your cause. For instance, when you encounter the virus, you will have a digital representation representation of each of the four derelicts fighting the battle for you. Therefore, having them trust me helps our cause, and helping your cause helps their cause. <laughs> Remember, you're here for them. Alright. Ooh. You look like you're having a bad day. Ah, well, it's true that you are free to roam the station. I would advise against coming into this room. This is not one of the derelicts, at least not anymore. He broke down a very long time ago. There's nothing of importance in this room. I don't believe that. Come on, look at him. Oh, poor guy. Any 
like buttons. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been to these rooms, but I just find this game, just the art style is just so pretty. Like, look at this. Look at that. So good. Automated message. System res resources dedicated to simulation. Come back another time, please. Anything over here. Access point. Don't have permission to enter. Yeah, apparently this game has, like, RPG elements, too? Like a turn-based battle system, I think? Craziness. Whoa. Hmm, a new version. I will grant you access. Hopefully you will succeed where others have failed. Step closer to the access point. Oh, interesting. Press down to enter the simulation. So yeah, this is all new to me. I've never seen this. Loading simulation. I'm like out of breath. Ooh, I'm heading to the Mal Wastes. Yeah, I wanted to get a video up of this game yesterday, but uh, the recording pro my program I used can't actually access it. Ooh, what is this? Couldn't record it, I should say. So I had to find something else too. Uh, you should try to find Melens first. She will be further ahead. Although the derelict's physical bodies are outside, their true selves are here in the simulations. I suppose I will fill you in on a few details since this must all seem very strange. I don't have all the answers, but I can tell you what I know. Many years ago, Earth sent several unmanned space vessels to planets in various parts of the galaxy. I guess it was a popular idea at the time. The mission was simple. The mission was simple to carry out simulations for future human habitation. Upon landing, the vessel built into built itself into the station you saw, the Lun Infinis. Inside were five automated, autonomous mobile simulation machines called derelicts. They were created by top scientific minds at the time. As the years went by, I suppose Earth lost interest. They stopped sending supplies and we stopped receiving communications. Maybe they found a more suitable planet elsewhere. The derelict simulations were never meant to be running for this long. There have been unexpected side effects on both sides of the simulations and the derelicts themselves. Our mission remains the same, however, to aid the derelicts so they can fulfill their mission. Right now, that means destroying the virus eating the simulations. Proceed ahead with caution. The virus has spawned many undesirables. Oh yes, you're a gaming chip. I'll speak to you in game language to help you understand. <laughs> Press Z to jump and X to shoot energy blast. You can only jump in the simulations, of course. Everyone knows coffee can't, pot can't jump in the real world. Fair enough. Press down to talk to other robots. Da -da 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 -da. Press, you can exit the simulation at any time by pressing tab or turn to the access panel. You need to find Melens before I can isolate the onion being attacked by the virus. Talking to Melens gives me more access to him and his database. <sighs> that may sound manipulative, but it's necessary I'll be in touch. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Okay, so... Shoot these guys. <laughs> and I can jump. Pick up stuff. Go down. Goes down. Pick this up. Whoa, what are you? On this curved junction. Okay, what is this? Like, move anywhere, do anything. I can't seem to. Oh, I can use my button. Critical hit heal. What is going on here? I'm not gonna change anything. Keep it as is. Okay, sure, why not? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go up then. Yeah, if this game was truly made by one guy, that's crazy. It functions well too, like usually these games kind of. Whoa! <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, there's like a spider thing shooting at me from below. Whoa, hello. What are you? Purchase these. Use them once per battle. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, take any of this ago because I have no idea what to happen. Do I take fall damage? No, I don't. Okay, so what's down here then? Nope. Fall down, damn it. Spike pit. Can I jump over that? No, but I could probably jump on this. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Oh, hello. That guy exploded. <laughs> Such a weird idea. There's a platforming, and yeah, I know there's like... RPG turn-based battles. Oh god. I don't know what I'm collecting here. There's like bars up in the top left. <laughs> I have no 
no idea what to do. I think the red one's life. Picking up these green things, it's filling up the green bar. Lock here, I can destroy. Crazy is this is just like the weirdest stuff. Make of this interesting idea for a game, though. Very interesting. So, this is like an exploration. Oh, hello. Whoa, I thought you were a good guy. Are you? No, you are not. Okay, just gotta shoot fast enough. gem things. Can I shoot up or anything like that? No, I can't. I don't know how to get there. But I can go up here, so we are making progress. in nighttime. Yeah, I don't really get it. Ah! Oh, oh, lovely. Sorry, uh, we will fight Melens inside this dome. I think after a few decades of struggling with his realistic simulation, he retreated into a fantasy world of sorts. Hey, wouldn't we all? Wouldn't we all? Can I talk to you? This is so crazy. The art in this game is just so cool. Oh, hello. Are you an enemy? Melens is so good to us. He, we were once a part of the dark world outside. He built us a broken place. Broke us up from that. Ah, he built us from broken pieces and gave us new life. Melens has unlimited resources. We will live here for eternity in the comfort of simplicity and predictability. The real world operates under unfair and cruel conditions. Melens tried that once until he realized it was futile. Lens has a workshop on the edge of town. He is always working to improve the, our world for us. I know, I should probably take a breath. Just chill out when I talk. Got all those chips. <laughs> nice mustache. Um, the virus has only recently begun attacking items within our village. It picks strange objects to steal from us. It takes trees, rivers, fences, and flowers. Why would it attack such benign objects? It took items at will until the antivirus programs appeared and fought off the attacks. They worked for a while, but the virus has gotten stronger. <laughs> Drain! Oh, hello, buddy. I'll go to his bit store. Like, uh, I don't know what... I guess I don't really have... I have 44. So yeah, I should probably not... try stuff until I really know what's going on. Lens gave up the work of his masters a long time ago. Now he is the ma now he is the master. He is the creator of his own world. Um, Lens watches over us. He built this world and maintains it. He taught us so much. When the world around you crumbles, it only makes sense to move inward. The world outside will inevitably fa fail you, but there, but here it is the same from day to day. There is comfort in that. Who are you? Welcome to Malinville. This is where my real life is. The only home anyone can ever truly have is the home they build within. My task, like others, was to run simulations for possible human development on this planet. We don't even know where they are, where we are. Thousands of light years from Earth, perhaps. Each of us was designed by a different team of scientists, hoping that each of us would have different simulations and different ideas. They gave us the most advanced intelligence that would technology would allow. We needed to be able to think on our own to accommodate unpredictable circumstances. 
that may have been our downfall. However, humans should know that the more intelligence you bestow upon a creature, the more futile life seems. I was the realist. I wanted my simulations to be exact. I wouldn't falsely create anything. I started from scratch, down to the simulated miners, mining, simulated ore. I spent years laboring. I watched generations of robotic miners come and go. The ruins surround us, surround us outside. It took me far long, far too long to realize the truth of it all. You are here, you exist, for the sole purpose of fighting the inevitable reality that you, the world you created, you, sorry, the world that created you wants to kill you. Stop fighting the fight and join us. The virus? I can only imagine it must have something to do with the never-ending efforts of the derelicts. When they cease their efforts, I feel like the world would disappear. If you still wish to find it, however, I sense it is in, it is in the underground tunnel. Underground tunnel, okay. Find the item under attack by the virus. It's in the underground mine. It's marked for you, so you'll be able to get be able to see it when you go down there. I've also given you access to the other three simulations, so you can come and go as you please. Spend as much time as you need powering up yourself up before a fight. <laughs> Every simulation has uh, unique ways to make yourself stronger. Save up chips, which represent system resources, and spend them however you wish to give yourself a better chance. There are many friendly pieces of code who will help you allocate those resources in many different ways. I've unlocked the virus combat simulator in the main room. I'd recommend you visit it in to get familiar with your battle commands and form a strategy. Also check in with the status console in the control room from time to time to see the current power level of Loon Infinis. Threat levels and system resource status. Good luck. Can I go down here? Okay, um, unfortunately I think that will be it for... Okay, sporting goods. Uh, yeah, I think that will be it for me today. Unfortunately, I need to uh, get to work. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. I am so excited for this game. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care and goodbye. Oh, um, I should mention that I do have a couple other games going at the moment. And this is kind of third place. And I don't know if I can really get to it every day just yet until my other series are done. So, uh, yeah, I might not have an episode up for another day or two, but then I should be, uh, pounding through it pretty quick. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.